Just 39 years old, Jordan Keschler starts his day with a cocktail of more than 27 pills. You can almost get to the point where you don't think the day's gonna come. In 2012, Jordan, then 31, was in a Tampa hospital to support his father, David, who was preparing for heart surgery. And while I was there at the hospital, I passed out on the floor. And then that's when they found out that I had factor V Leiden blood disease mm. and the clot. Rushed into surgery to remove three clots from his own heart, recovering side by side with his father. And then I ended up in a bed next to him. Jordan would return to his home in upstate New York and live a relatively healthy life alongside his wife, Sonia, until 2018. I did increase in heart function, but yet not to the point where I could just keep living like that. Doctors decided it was time for a heart pump. They implant it into your heart existing heart and it makes the blood flow. After surgery, another setback. Sonia, pregnant with the couple's first child, explains a frightening recovery. He was in a coma for a few days and all of a sudden a bunch of white coats are rushing into the room. Somebody came to me and said, we're from the stroke team. And I said, stroke? You know, what do you mean a stroke? She credits the hope of this moment for helping her husband pull through. Just knowing that he had a daughter on the way, you know, I just feel like that was just an extra push, like, okay, I need to get through this. You know, we would remind him every day, like, you know, baby Charlie is getting bigger, and, you know, just reminding him, like, you have something, you know, to fight for. Jordan was now one of the three to 4,000 people, on average in the U.S., who wait daily for a heart transplant. And his wait would be long, his blood type rare, and the organ supply falls far short of the demand. His family was aware of those consequences. Jordan would see his father pass away while waiting on the LVAD, the same system now keeping Jordan alive. But for the new dad, there would be a new path. A months old clinical trial at Massachusetts General Hospital could save his life. When we take an organ out of a body to transplant into somebody else, we have to protect it and preserve it. And the way we've done that traditionally is what we call iced storage. Giving doctors about four hours to transplant an organ. This is what we call the organ care system. Dr. David D'Alessandro is working with this machine to help increase the time and the supply. We can safely keep the organ outside the body for longer and very importantly we can assess its function so that we know that it's working well before we put it into our recipient which can be very important when we're talking about alternative types of donors. In this case, what's known as DCD donors. Either due to prior wishes of the patients themselves or often the family members decide that they don't want to keep their loved ones alive on life support and they ask to remove them from life support. And if the patient dies once off life support, we can take the organs out after they've died and resuscitate them on machines. A procedure that has been used with kidneys, livers, and lungs for several years. It's only more recently that we've been using hearts because the hearts is, are, are much more susceptible to injury in that situation. And the heart is an organ that has to work right away. For Jordan, who heard about the trial in an online support group, the risk was worth it. We can't just put him in the trial and use the machine. He has to be randomized into the treatment arm, and that has a 75% chance. The odds paid off. We're going to Mass General. <laughs> After more than a year of waiting, just four days later. I just remember staring at the phone, and I just answered it, and I just remember the woman saying, you know, we have a heart, and it was just so surreal. Jordan is now one of fewer than a dozen people living with a DCD heart transplant. A new life and new hope for a family with a difficult history. My uncle died 36 from a heart attack. Then my father made it on to LVAD and waiting. And then I almost picked up basically where he left off and finished with the transplant. So kind of like a full circle for the, for the family.
It's been about a year since Jordan first received his transplant, and I'm happy to report he continues to do well, spending a lot of time with his family. 